Welcome back to Adventuring Pals. In this episode, we are tackling the notorious Marini Loop with a 50-year-old caravan, dodging horses and camels along the way. This road is a notorious caravan killer, but we are going to try our luck with an old van and see how we go. On the other side at King's Canyon, we take on the famous King's Canyon Rimwalk with our two crazy kids. With sheer drop-offs of very tall cliffs, this is no place to be mucking around, but the views are certainly worth it. Alrighty guys, well we have just left Alice Springs, um, heading to King's Canyon. And our mates in their caravan, they are very keen to do it, in, um, do it via the Barini Loop. Notorious bit of uh, unsealed road between uh, Hammondsburg and um, Alice Springs and um, Kings Canyon. And about 130 odd k's of it is unsealed. So, uh, but they've had good reports. The conditions are supposed to be pretty decent. And they've had other people tell them it should be pretty easy to do. So, we're going to give it a go a slow, see what happens. Um, yeah, but. Should be interesting taking a 50 year old caravan up this road that a lot of people don't even take their newer caravans down. See how we go. So, if you are going to do the Marini Loop, um, whether you're towing or not, either way from Kings Canyon to Alice or from Alice to Kings Canyon, you will have to get yourself a permit to travel that road. It's only a $5 permit, and you can get that. This is like the booklet you get with it. And you can get that at other the Kings Canyon Discovery Parks or at Alice Springs, the Info Center. And we've just been to the Info Center and got our permits. And we are ready to go. We are driving on Larapin to drive right now, heading back down the road we came down last night, back to the point um, where it turns the dirt, and we'll, we'll just go slow from there and assess it as we go. All right, wish us luck. Let's go. All right, we are just about hit the dirt. There was some last minute preps, a bit of duct tape on vents, and all that. How are you feeling? Hey. How are you feeling? Pretty excited. Yeah? Hopefully to make it. Let's see how she goes. This is the van. Old Millie. About to have a uh, test of her abilities. Hey, how are you going, bud? Hey, you don't ask him. That's the kind of caravan that's recommended for here. Yeah. Well, we've got 20 k's in so far, the Marina Loop, the unsealed section, and so far, so good. It's usually a really good condition road. A lot of horses to watch out for, running around everywhere. But apart from that, she's uh, pretty good, uh, pretty smooth sailing, and actually a lot of traffic here at the moment. Hey! Well, we're halfway through. Over. I saw the tail lights hanging down, the um, reverse lights, a bit of, a bit of cable tyres to get them back on. Good to go. Good to go, but otherwise she's looking pretty good. Well, this is cleaner than my caravan when I used to take it off road. All good? All good? Halfway there. Made it to the other side of the dirt patch of a uh, Marini Loop, all in one piece, and uh, have a look at our view of uh, the mountain next to us. So tomorrow we're going to attempt to take the kids and do the rim walk. Last time we came to Kings Canyon, we did not do that because it was too hot and it was too much for little kids. 
I still don't trust my kicks around this uh, rig walk, but we're gonna give it a crack and see how we go. All right, we made it all in one piece. Millie is done very well to do the mirroring look without any issues at all. And now we're gonna enjoy our reward uh, with a freezing cold sweep. Hi, oh, Jaden, jump in. Dad, Dad! Go. Go do a burn, Charlie. <laughs> now my turn. Right, I, I gotta do it now. Let's go. Let's go. Do it again. Well, after that freezing cold, refreshing swim, we've relaxed around the campsite. Watch this dingo for ages going through everyone's camps looking for the scraps. And then we went ourselves to the King's Canyon restaurant on site and enjoyed a very nice meal. I had the kangaroo steak and that was awesome. Then for that night we have booked ourselves in for the light towers display. Which if you didn't know is done by the same artist who did the Field of Lights installation at Uluru. Now personally I actually don't like these light installations. They feel very out of place and not connected at all with the landscape you're in. But I suppose at least they are pretty. I feel like they would be better if they're actually made like a dot painting with the lights. The next morning we were up well before the sun and set to tackle the King's Canyon Rim Walk, starting a short drive from the caravan park to the start of the walking track. Oh, guys, this place. Now that you can see me, a bit more light. Nice starting day. Definitely worth getting up here in the dark to get up here for first light. It's just stunning. Everywhere you go, every corner you turn, beautiful scenery waiting for you. And the early morning light, Flirting with the dark and the faces of the rocks lighting it up. Oh, it's definitely worth getting up early for. Get out here and check it out. Come on, Nick. Oh, it's amazing. The walk itself, we haven't gone to the, the um, group yet. We are just going through to it and it's been pretty nice. We wanted to get here at first light. A little bit delayed, but that turned out in our favour because we're going to see the rocks light up as the sun's coming. So, a little bit left to go. Let's go see what it's like. There it is. Thank you. Mr. Gr <laughs> so, Mr. Grumpy, we were so grumpy to get out of your bed. How do you feel now? Oh, I feel like feel shit. I'm sorry. All right. We're going to keep on exploring, see what's around the next corner. One eight. Uh, that's what's around the next corner. Don't fall off the cliff. Oh, oh god guys this holy What goes up must come down, and now we are heading down. At least this time there's nice handrails and stairs. Wow, 
Wow. There is a lot of water around here. Didn't expect to see that. Well, <laughs> we're going back. We are going back upstairs. Oh, thirsty. Hi, thirsty. There we go, guys. Well, the sun is fully up, as you can see. I think we are definitely over the halfway mark. I have no idea how far in we are. Or how far we are left to go. Big jump. Whoa. Tadpole. I saw a fish. Oh, tadpole. Look at the tadpole. Really? Beetles, I think the beetles. Oh no, there are tadpoles in there. Who would have thought? Okay, we made it to a gate, and I think this gate means we have 2.4 k's back to the car park. The walk so far is still awesome. Ring. All right, guys, well, we finished that walk. It took us about three and a half hours, and um, we could have probably done a little bit quicker if uh, some people didn't slow us down. But anyways, it was a good little walk. It can take, you know, four, five, six hours to do it if you really stop and smell the roses and take your time. And there's a few little side tracks you can do, which we didn't do, um, but the kids managed all right. Struggled at the end, but we got there, and now, we had lunch at uh, Kings Creek Station, one of our favorite places around here to eat. Uh, well, there was no camels there today, unfortunately. Anyways, we've come down after lunch for a bit of a rest back in the caravan park, and then just down the road again to check out this little walk, which is Kathleen Springs. Now, this is a short little walk, two and a half k's, about one hour return, and it is nicely paved or flat just about the whole way there. So it's much easier walk, Suited if you have frames and strollers, it's uh, pretty good for that. But yeah, there's a nice little water hole at the end, beautiful gorges around, like uh, they'd expect to see around here. But yeah, and a few historic little uh, sites along the way to see both recent history from cattle and ancient history from the Aboriginal people who used to inhabit this area. Alrighty guys, well, that is our time at Kings Canyon at an end. We are about an hour down the road, just reflecting back on how our trip was at Kings Canyon this time. Uh, this time we stayed at Discovery Park's King, Kings Canyon, unlike last time. We stayed at uh, Kings Creek Station. Both places are really awesome to stay at. Uh, Kings Canyon, uh, Discovery Park's obviously closer uh, to the Kings Canyon for the rim walk if you want to get there really early um, and it has the field of lights and it has the beautiful light tower sorry it has the light tower and it has the uh, beautiful view of the, of the range from the campground which is nice and uh, the campground itself is really nice lots of amenities mulch which is great to see always clean um, yeah it was a really good stay. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> so going forward, we head into Uluru and we have got a hectic, hectic schedule. The girls are going a bit crazy, booked us lots of sunrise activities and sunset activities. So being in a rooftop tent, that is going to mean a lot of work for me. Packing up early, setting up late, 
and everything in between. So, gonna see how we go, gonna get through it. Really missing my caravan, but you know what? Roofed up 10 life, getting used to it. It's uh, definitely a lot easier in between when we're traveling without having to worry about the caravan. Not that it is a big issue towing a caravan anywhere anyway. So we'll end the episode here at the end of our Kings Canyon stay. Join us in for the next episode when we tackle Uluru and our hectic schedule. We've got a bike ride around Uluru. We've got camel rides. we got uh, field of lights, some other stuff. It's, uh, it's going to be epic. Hopefully, if there's anything like our last visit to Uluru, it's going to be special. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're enjoying the series. See you in the next one.